Hey Fit Fam, Karen here. I'm sitting in a cold AF car waiting for my sister to pull up. We are going to head into a hot and spicy booty yoga class. Mix in with some Zumba at the end. Guys, if you don't have a girl who does some booty yoga or hot yoga, get yourself a girl who does. Uh, ladies, if you've never tried a booty yoga class, you need to take one. I'm telling you, you're going to come out feeling like a sexy beast going to be feeling yourself. When she gets here, I'll see how much I can film in there. And I'm a dancer. I love Zumba. You just shake your Hi. There's my sis. We're going in to do a fire class. It is booty yoga and Zumba, two of my favorite things. What do you think? I don't know. I think I'm going to die. That's right. Warrior status. Here we go. Tribe. <laughs> So I'm headed over to Whole Foods, one of my favorite stores in the world because I'm a geek. So I'll show you some of my favorite things to grab and maybe a couple tricky things that you may think are healthy and they're really not. They use a lot of buzzwords and confuse people. I think I should probably be able to get everything at Whole Foods. You'll see it's, it's the best place ever. I'm such a geek. buying whole bean you want to really try to get organic unfortunately coffee beans are one of the most highly sprayed beans out there so stick with organic if you can i also love my teas i'm gonna go with two of the tulsi teas these are on sale actually um one is lemon ginger and one is more for a relaxing bedtime tea gotta get that sleep really important it helps greatly with stress and anxiety so i try this protein sources i love the are the brown protein chicken thighs and breasts. I'm going to pick all that up. And this is an example of what I meant by things looking like they may be healthy and they're not really. This mayonnaise actually has sugar put into it. It's not the worst, but if you can get one that does not have sugar, like this, much better. Brand, something like this brand, um, where they don't actually put any added sugar into the sauce. That's a big no-no. Okay, love this brand of bone broth. You can make soups with it, uh, thicken sauces. You can actually just warm it up and drink it. It's so good for you, especially this time of the year. And another one I love. Wraps. Um, they have one cassava, one almond flour. Simple, very simple ingredients. They also have chips. I'll show you those too. They're so good. Another little shortcut I love is getting rice frozen cauliflower. You can use it so many ways. I'm going to be making that cauliflower pressed pizza. This is one of my favorite almond milks. Um, I can't really find this anywhere else, but it's the best one. One more sneaky example, cold brew coffee. It's just straight black. There's nothing else in this one. Perfect. This one, same brand and everything, but it says amber uh, maple, so you just have to be careful if you're watching your sugar consumption. It has cane sugar and if you guys are currently drinking a lot of soda, this may be a good step for you. They have all different flavors, and it's sweetened with stevia. So that can help you cut uh, the soda. I'm just so excited. Let me just tell you a side note. They have all these flavors now, and all the ingredient ingredients are clean. Paleo and keto people out there, you know these well. These are macadamia nuts. Um, one of the highest fat nuts. 
lowest carb, um, but anybody should eat these. These are amazing. So many health benefits. Super picky about protein powders. This is one that I approve. It's the collagen that I've been talking about a few times in my videos. Also, I like the Sun Warrior, the cleanest dairy-free vegan protein powder that I can find. Um, so either one of those would be good. But if you're sensitive to lactose, you want to make sure that you get an isolate and get one that's for that you can invest the extra couple bucks for your belly not to feel like you have gas and you're farting and you have whey protein farts. <laughs> Save everybody that trouble. Additives you could buy and put into your smoothie. I love maca powder. So good for energizing the body, for the lobito. You're welcome, fellas. Hemp seeds, chia seeds, flax seeds, all these things are amazing. Over here we have the coconut milk and almond milk, which are healthy fats, um, and uh, cacao chocolate, 100%, nothing else in it. I'm going to probably make an ice cream with this or some kind of a yogurt. Um, they're good for smoothies. And we get into the veggies. We have mushrooms, avocado, that's also a healthy fat, the cauliflower, the arugula. I did get some sauce for the pizza that I'm going to make. No sugar added. We got some Brussels sprouts. I have a butternut squash and a spaghetti squash. So these are the starchier carbs that I eat, along with the sweet potato and the purple Japanese sweet potato. Just onion, garlic, parsley, good for chopping up and putting into everything. Lemon's awesome to put in your water or to flavor things with. Spinach, the zucchini, the yellow squash, the coleslaw mix. I'm not sure if I showed you the eggs. I usually try to get pasture-raised organic eggs if I can, if they have them, or free-range better quality eggs. You can tell when the yolk is like super yellow, almost like an orangey color. They're a little better quality egg. I've got that coffee, that tea, uh, the mayonnaise I went over. These coconut aminos, I'm not sure if you've ever seen them. They're awesome. Kind of can make a stir fry with them, kind of like a Chinese food flavor. It's soy free. Soy is something that everybody should really stay away from. Bone broth, like I said, for soups, sipping on. Then we got the proteins. I have the ground turkey, like I said, the eggs. Oh, I also got some tuna, I forgot about this. When you buy tuna, try to go for yellowfin. A poll uh, called is best. Look for that mark there, it's a good quality. Um, that's better than the albacore, not as good of a quality fish. So I got some wild caught salmon. I got king salmon, which is highest in omega-3s. I have some wild caught shrimp, the hot dogs. And then that ground beef that I mentioned that I already have from Butcher Box. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna have lots of recipes coming up and I'm gonna show you next my cauliflower pizza. Okay, dinner time. A lot of you asked for the recipe for cauliflower pizza. This is about a cup and a half of rice cauliflower. As you saw, I buy it frozen, already rice, saves time. If you have a head of cauliflower, you just rice it down, put it in a bowl with like a quarter teaspoon of uh, sea salt just to draw the moisture out, that's an important step. So that's how you get your crust a little more crispy. So once you let it sit for like 10, 15 minutes, squeeze out that excess moisture. For me, I use almond flour, about two tablespoons of almond flour to bind it with one egg. And then this is kind of a cool ingredient. Not a lot of people know about this. It's called nutritional yeast. It has a naturally cheesy flavor, so I like to use it in the crust because it gives it a little bit of a cheesy flavor. So about a tablespoon of that gives a little boost of protein as well with almond flour and the egg. I just season the crust with salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning, and that's about it. So let's put that together. Okay, next is just you spreading out your crust on some parchment paper on a pan. I use like the back of a fork, or you can use your, your hands too. And just kind of shape it into like a little personal pan pizza size. The thinner you make it, the crispier it'll get. I kind of try to make it as uniform as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're the one eating this. You can even like kind of try to create a crust if you want. So I put the crust in the oven at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes just to kind of start the cooking process, start getting it a little crispy. But in the meantime, while we're waiting for that to kind of pre-bake, you can get your toppings ready. You can do whatever your heart desires. I'm doing some shredded chicken, arugula, a little bit of mushroom. Um, I have that sauce that I showed you earlier. I'm gonna season it with a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic, onion, and a little bit more of that Italian seasoning. I'll show you how I put it together once it comes out, and then I'll put it in for the final bake. 
Okay, crust is out of the oven. Looks good, browned up a little bit. I'm gonna start building the toppings on there. Pop it back in the oven. So it goes back in the same temperature, 400. I'd say probably 12 to 15 minutes. Okay guys, all of this is going in my belly. So delicious. This one is a winner for sure. Enjoy it. I ate the whole thing. Go ahead and eat the whole thing because like I said, that's one portion size. Yeah, we had a good day today. I had fun. Took you guys to get your sexy on. Took you guys to my favorite store, dropped some knowledge on you about all things Karen approved. And I brought you back and I showed you a recipe. You guys really were commenting and leaving me a lot of love on Instagram about my cauliflower post. It was actually like a joke, I was trying to be funny. But I got so many requests for cauliflower pizza, so I'm glad you guys are on board. That's one of my favorite recipes. So I think I'm going to go ahead and close off this video. I wanna let you know that I will be coming out with some more quality content. Got myself some new equipment here that I need to learn how to use. I might have to call Swift and Jess and ask them to help me because I'm learning all this stuff. I just want to let you know I appreciate you all. Hit that subscribe, hit that bell. Any comments down below, I really appreciate. I really try to go through them all and help you learn. Drop all that knowledge. So leave some love and I will see you in the next video. Take care. I really don't know what I'm doing with this stuff. I really got to get on that. If anybody can help a sister, leave that information down below as well.